Hi, Mana. Have you ever felt trapped in a place where there seemed to be no way out? Centuries ago, King Hezekiah of Judah was trapped as well. The king of Assyria had invaded Judah and was capturing city after city. Now the Assyrian army was closing in on Jerusalem and the people of Judah were going to be trapped inside the walls. They knew that the Assyrian plan was to lay siege to the city and prevent food and water from reaching the people inside. Sooner or later, they would be forced to surrender and then they would be enslaved, exiled, or executed. Hezekiah, the king of Judah, gathered all the people together and told them to trust in their heavenly father and not in earthly kings or earthly armies or human power and might, but in their heavenly king. He told them in 2 Chronicles 32, 7 to 8, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be dismayed because of the king of Assyria, nor because of all the multitude which is with him. For the one with us is greater than the one with him. With him is only an arm of flesh. But with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people relied on the words of Hezekiah, king to Judah. We are often faced, especially now, with situations that seem impossible. And we need to remember during these difficult times that with God, nothing is impossible. Luke 1, 37. When Hezekiah prayed and brought this problem to the Lord in 2 Kings 18, God answered his prayer in miraculous ways. God sent one angel that night from heaven and struck down 185,000 Assyrian soldiers. What was left of the Assyrian army retreated and Jerusalem was saved. You and I know a little bit about being trapped in our own homes because we have been told to shelter in place and practice social distancing as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Our army, enemy army, is not a physical army, it's a virus. Even more deadly, however, than a biological virus is the spiritual virus of fear. But we don't need to fear because our God is greater than armies, greater than viruses, and even greater than our fear. And God has good plans for his people in every circumstance. These might be unprecedented times from a human point of view, but nothing takes our God by surprise. Today is a great time for us to make time to draw near to God in prayer. We need to pray not only for our problems, we need to pray for others. We need to pray for our nation and pray for our leaders, and especially pray that Jesus Christ will use these current circumstances to draw people to himself. Above all, let's praise him that he is our God, and he will provide whatever he knows we need in every circumstance that we're in. Remember, God designed us to do life together.